Hey guys, Stephanie's here. And I actually decided to check my email and I got a, um, an email. That's what you do when you check your email, right? So, um, one email I got from is a guy named Brydro, okay? And basically Brydro was saying he liked my videos and um, he wants to know if he should get a PS3. Now he wanted to break the pros and cons against the PS3 and overall do I think it's that was a good time to purchase one. I'm assuming that um, it looks like he hasn't really stepped into the new generation yet, so it looks like he wants some advice. So I can give you some advice. Um, and in terms of cost-wise, I think it's a very good time, very prime opportunity to go ahead and purchase a PlayStation 3 or any system for that matter. Right now, um, the Wii are the Wii is now I think $29.99, going to $1.99 very soon. The Xbox 360 is one is $249, and the PlayStation 3 now is. So, right now, if you're going to get a PlayStation 3, now is a good time to go ahead and purchase one. Um, let's see, number second is the pros and cons. Well, obviously, hardware is definitely a pro. No matter how you look at it, a hardware PlayStation 2 definitely wins on ends, but when you talk about consoles anyway. Now, with that being said, there are some, hmm, it all depends on, it looks like, from what my understanding and my experience with a PlayStation 3, the only... The biggest problem I have with that is it's all depending on what you have around your house. Like I noticed that um, my PlayStation 3 did not was not compatible with my monitor, and I had to play it um, um, standard definition or HD or SD rather, which wasn't a bad thing per se. Um, because, you know, I'm not really into graphics, per se, but I love a good sound. You know, I love good sound, and I hooked up PlayStation 3 through, you know, um, digitally through my PC, which produced sound, and it was incredible. So, yeah, that's definitely a good price. Of course, you can do that with your uh, Xbox 360 as well. Now, uh, another thing is, is that it's also about your router. Now, my router, apparently, judging from what other PlayStation members have said, or PlayStation owners, rather, they said that most likely the calls may be my router, which actually might be a problem, because my router is not exactly the best on the market. So, um, most likely, I will see exactly what's to be said about that in the future. Let's see, anything else? Um, the controllers are, in my opinion, the controllers are hit and miss. I mean, yes, the controllers are good, especially if you can charge it up, but I mean, I'm just saying, me personally, I've gotten used to my Xbox 360 controller because I use it on my PC, so it, it does get kind of hard for me to play it on, you know, play use the controller, but that's just my preference. That's just how things go with me. That's no reason to not buy one at all. Because there are ways to hook up, well, point in case it's not a reason to buy one at all. Um, another thing is um, the headsets. It seems like, from what I understand, from what I have experienced, the voice quality through, the voice quality is better on a PlayStation 3 than it is on the Xbox 360. Not to mention, you can also buy pretty much any, as far as I know, I've not yet, I've, I've actually tried to go ahead and uh, prove myself wrong with this, but I, I wasn't able to. I actually tried to prove that not all USB headsets are compatible with the Xbox 360. That was wrong. Actually, there was a lot of them that was, um, everyone I used, and I have a lot of them sitting around here, everyone that I used was compatible. So, I also, while I was talking to, um, I was talking to Sneak Double O, only to find out, not only can I use my um, my a headset, but I actually can use my, well I don't have it now, Camille has it, uh, I can use my webcam's microphone on it to use as a microphone for, you know, the gaming. So that was, that was pretty cool. I can use the microphone that was used on my, head, on my webcam. So overall, the PlayStation 3 is a very good system. Now, should you buy it? I think so. I think if you're looking forward to getting into um, just generation gaming, I don't think you're behind. I think you've just come at the right time, in my opinion. I think right now is the key time that you, if you want to become a next-gen gamer, then now would be that time. Now, pretty much on that, and there's other couple of games too that I'm really looking forward to, um, even though I can play them on PC as well, such as um, some MMOs, such as excuse me, such as um, DC Universe Online or uh, the, what is it called, um, Agent, I think it's called, Agency rather. Uh, there's also the new God of War, not to mention the God of War and God of War 2 collection is coming out. You also have, oh, by the way, PlayStation owners and Trey Brotherhood, congratulations on a 9.5 
um, by IGN on Uncharted 2. I've actually been looking at Uncharted 2 for a couple of days now, and I've got to admit, it's been looking fantastic. So, big props to that. And the um, uh, multiplayer also looks kind of good as well. So, once again, looking and playing is two different things. I have yet to play it, so I can't really give my judgment on it. But from what I see, it looks like it's a well-earned and well-deserved 9.5. And they said the only problem was they didn't really explain the whole schematics regarding stealth. So, that's fine. You know, it's just stealth. So, um, like I said before, what else? Oh, Uncharted 2. I played a little bit of Uncharted 2, and it was actually pretty good. I played Metal Gear Solid 4. That was good. You all know I'm a big fan of Little Big Planet. So, overall, brother, if you are looking to get into the next generation right now, you're looking to just, um, you're looking to get a PlayStation 3, then I'd say, yeah. I think you're looking for a good choice. Um, some other things good about the PlayStation 3 Core. Um, Core is about what is it like two dollars uh, every or two or three dollars every month. Basically, that's like an online magazine, and it's good. Um, it's like a DVD style magazine. I liked it. Um, you have Home, which, in my opinion, Home is not too much of anything right now. Home does have potential, but in my particular, I'm just my opinion that Home does not really do it for me. I gotta say. You know, I look at it a lot, and I try, I try that four times. Overall, it's just like, eh, you know, something else to do. Um, you also have the music player, which is all right. Um, the pictures, I like the pictures, I really do. I love putting in pictures. So, that's actually pretty good. Overall, I think that you will not be disappointed with your PlayStation 3. I think there has been enough updates right now, and they're still missing a couple of things that I um, that I particularly think, you know, but overall, I think that you are not, you know, you will pick the right time to go into gaming right now, um, at least H HD gaming or next-gen gaming, so by all means, go pick up a PlayStation 3 and I'll see you online real soon. You guys have a good night, because that fix is out.